Before I begin, I'd also like to introduce and welcome our commissioners. Um, as most of you might know, we have a group of commissioners who, when they're at full, uh, full uh, quota, I guess, if they, when they fill up, it'll be 15 members. Uh, we have quite a few of our commissioners in-house today. They serve as an advisory uh, group to the Office on African Affairs. They are our, our eyes and ears on the, uh, on the ground in the community. Uh, we have they're all hiding behind me, so maybe I'll pull them out. Dr. Akuya Asare, who's the chair of the Commission on African Affairs. We have uh, Lloyda George Esquire, who is our vice chair. We have Kandis Tgaramo, who's the secretary of the Commission of African Affairs. We have Ms. Ifi Nwabuku and Mr. Yusuf Yunusa, who are both commissioners also of the uh, Commission on African Affairs. Um, I would uh, maybe take a couple of minutes to tell you a little bit about what the uh, Office on African Affairs does, and then I will take off and uh, invite uh, our, co our commissioner's chair, Dr. Akuya Sari, to say a few words to you, after which I'll introduce the director of the Community uh, uh, Affairs Office, uh, who is our new Fresh Start director coming on board, so she'll have a few words for you as well. The Office on African Affairs, I'm sure most of you are familiar with what the office does. We do uh, a number of programs and we provide a number of services for the African community here in the district. Uh, we have programs that include constituent services, people walking through the door looking for employment, looking for housing, um, you know, uh, African immigrants trying to uh, find a way of making a living in the, in the district. We help them by responding to some of their concerns. We have an outreach and education component to what we do, a lot of targeted, culturally, linguistically targeted um, um, educational campaigns and, and programs. Uh, we do capacity building work with businesses, with nonprofits, uh, technical assistance, um, as, you know, kind of connecting them to uh, government, district agency, resources and funding when possible. We have a multicultural awareness and development component, works mostly in the culture area, we facilitate dialogue, we uh, take part in a lot of conversations that have to do with African identity here uh, in the district. And our big uh, uh, multicultural um, event is our DC citywide festival that happens once a year. We have a youth engagement program that works with DCPS and young folks, young Africans who are in the public school system, kind of engaging them, civic engagement, and also trying to uh, you know, hear from them, get, helping them get a voice in the community. There are plenty of internship opportunities. Mamadou will introduce our interns. I really think both our office and our community, the strength of what we have is the immense diversity in language and culture. And our office reflects that, our interns reflect that. A lot of languages are spoken and cultures are brought to the table and it's, and it's extremely exciting to be in that setting. We also have a bi-weekly newsletter. Um, it's something you can all sign up to, African Beat newsletter. Uh, it's online, it's free, it's where we advertise a lot of what's going on in the community and we invite people to uh, send us um, promotional materials that we can help you uh, to get the word out on. I will stop there and I will uh, leave the podium for Dr. Akuya Asari who will say a few words of welcome. Thank you all for coming, it's a fantastic turnout. Well, how are you today? I'm fine. Nice. It's so good to see all of you. As Haran said, my name is Akuya Asari, Dr. Bean MD, and I am the chair of the Commission on African Affairs. And really, our purpose is to be an advocacy group for the various African communities here in DC. So we work with the office very closely in a collaborative manner to bring those issues to the mayor. We also discuss various policy issues. And in general, we're here to advocate for you guys. 
So we meet once a month, the, the second Wednesday of every month, upstairs on the fourth floor. The meetings are open for the most part, and we have a closed session afterwards. So come, tell us what's going on. We're here for you. We appreciate your presence. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Lloyd George, and I am the vice chair of the commission. And I just wanted to speak a little bit about um, some upcoming plans that we have. In the daytime, I'm an immigration attorney and an advocate for immigrants, specifically the African diaspora. So much, when, well, when we hear about immigration in the news, we usually hear about our Latino brothers and sisters. However, there's a large pool of immigrants within the district that are from the diaspora. And we on the commission want to make a pointed and concerted effort to do outreach to these communities, especially with Obama's recent executive action that was announced this November. Um, it's actually going to get started as of February 18. Expanded DACA, which is Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, will be initiated as of February 18. And then mid-May, there's going to be DAPA, which is Deferred Action. Times when our populations are vulnerable, extra vulnerable. So we on the commission want to make it uh, an invitation to partner with C organization or your CBO that caters specifically um, to the African diaspora community is interested in partnering with OAA and the commission. We would love to try and organize several um, workshops throughout the community in the upcoming months where we can get accurate information out to our community. All right, thank you very much. And uh, on behalf of my fellow commissioners, we welcome servicing you. Uh, 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 uh.